Didn't see how you're doing today. I'm doing great. Yeah, how's practice? Uh, everybody was totally locked in. Um, main focus, uh, we know what it takes for you know Friday's game, so everybody buttoned up a little bit more. Um, so today's practice was intense, and, and um, everybody's flying around. What, what about coming off this loss? You guys haven't suffered one this season. Just what's the, the vibe like with the guys coming off that loss? You know, the game, it definitely humbled us. Um, you know, people, um, the way, the mindset that we came into the game, and I feel like we, you know, gave it our all. We should have, as we should have. Um, but ultimately, we just look, we just going to put it behind us and look forward to Friday's game. It's a short week with playing on Friday. Is that process of kind of putting the game behind you any different? What was the last kind of 36 hours like? Uh, no, uh, we knew, um, like I said, we had to leave that game behind us and we had to look forward to the next game. Um, but we knew that we had to, as soon as practice had to start on Monday, which is today, um, that we had to button it up and, you know, like I said, everybody had to be flying around and get ready for Friday. Is there anything that you guys saw on film from that game that led to your first loss of the year or anything that was different? Um, just a little bit of lack of focus. Um, just. Um, uh, yeah, just pretty much just lack of focus for us. Um, we just didn't bring it as we should have. Do you see your group coming in with a different edge up off a loss versus one thing through on 11 straight win? Yeah, definitely. Um, the intensities went up higher. Um, like I said, we are, everybody's butting up. Um, with us losing, we know that we, we got to bring our, whole, our eight game plan, plan against Western Kentucky after them going eight straight games. Uh, we played against them shot for shot in the sixth game, so we know what it takes to to beat them, and we got to continue to do that. Sincere, what do you remember about that first matchup against Western Kentucky? It was uh, blow for blow. Um, it was a really good offense against a really good defense. It was shot for shot, and it was just uh, um, who can control the clock and who can control the ball and have the, uh, the ball um, with the clock ending. And thankful for Clarence, um, him you know, stopping or getting an interception to help us win the game was uh, memorable and important. That offensive performance was probably one of the best we've seen out of UTSA this season. Do you guys think you could replicate that this week? I believe so. Um, with the, the strategy and the plan that the coaches have for us and, and the preparation and the mindset that we're going into Friday's game, I believe so. Week for a uh, championship, what, what does that mean to the players and yourself? It means a lot to the program, um, just for the, us to be the first to do it, um, put our names on the wall somewhere, or, you know, just for the community. Um, have everybody out there and just, you know, rooting, uh, cheering us on. And um, that's going to be a huge accomplishment for everybody. You mentioned the community. You feel like there's been a lot of support? Yeah, definitely. Um, after game after game, home games, uh, the crowd has been more and more people. Um, the whole community is behind us, and we've been loving it ever since. And we just, you know, we're thankful, and, and we love the fans for coming out there and support us. Um, and we want to continue to keep it going. There were times in your career where it felt like this program was – pretty far jump from being able to compete in a game like this. When did you start to envision that this might be a possibility for your group? Uh, once the leadership of this team, uh, we knew what it take from the guys returning from last year. We went 75 last year, and we knew what it took to, you know, be a 11 and one team and 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 uh, to not play around. And every every play counts as it's our last. And um, the culture, the triangle will travel, and that's something that we believe in as a group. And that's how we've been able to win a lot of our games because we truly believe in the triangle. Is that the biggest reason you guys were able to make that jump from you know four wins, seven wins, and now eleven wins? Or what else can you point to in that time? Yes, sir, and it's all thanks to that triangle. And like I said, the leadership of the team, um, the, the the single digit guys, the the older guys who take the role, um, just to help the younger guys understand, even the, the scout team, just to know that their role is as important as everybody else's role to help us win games, and you know everybody has love for each other. We were just talking to Frank about the, the moment at halftime against North Texas where he came out of the game. You know, what was that like from your perspective? Um, coach makes the best decision. Um, he felt like he, you know, he wasn't comfortable with taking him out there. Um, you know, he, he, like he said, he missed a lot of games and um, he wanted to play for the team. You know, Frank always wanted to be there for the team. So, um, but the coaches make the right decision and you just got to trust what the coaches say. Yeah, what does it say about Frank? His, his commitment and his you know, you know his drive to, to provide for this program that he wanted to be in there the way that he did it sounded like it was a pretty emotional experience. Yeah, he loved his team. He arrived for he died for this team. So and and that's the same way for me. Um, but his his, uh, his motivation, his, his leadership on his team is major for us because um, without him, you know, we 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 uh, he's a, he's a, he's the quarterback. He's a leader of the team, and he wants to be out there as much as the the last guy. And he's been producing at a crazy high level all season. Yeah. What are the big differences you see like this year compared to the previous Franks that we saw in other seasons? His ability to make throws, ability to extend plays, ability to just to um, 
lead the team um, ultimately um, stuff that he didn't get a chance to because due to his injury and finally showcasing the skills his talent and him progressing and him maturing as a, a, a next level quarterback so that's what I've been seeing and just his character around his vibe his good energy um, as a quarterback is something that we need for this team and and for him to carry on the rest of his life. Sincere, what do you think the vibe like is going to be among the players this week? It's not every week you get to play for a conference title. Like I said um, before, it's it, everybody's buttoned up, everybody's tight. Um, you know, we're excited to be playing for a conference championship, but we know what it what it all what it takes to to win a championship, and that every every play counts like it's our last. And everybody on the team knows it's like ride or die. We ride or die for each other. We've been here and. It's how, uh, it's how we've been able to maintain this for the past 12 games. So, I'll just keep going. Hey, Sincere, what, what, what's the impact of now you've got Brendan Brady back? So, I just want to get your thoughts on, you know, having him back in the, in the lineup um, right behind you. Yeah, you know, him is like a three-headed monster, with, even with BJ. Um, I come in and rotate. He come in and rotate, and he brings a, a different level of power to the game. He's strong and um, adorable back, and he continue to, you know, progress, and his game keeps continue to improve. I know due to in injuries, he's been kind of, you know, behind well, but his en uh, his energy outside the field continue to motivate, continue to, you know, uh, well on his team and continue to lift, uplift his team is, is something that's major, even though he can't be on the field when he, due to injury. But since he came back, he just he never lost a step. Thank you, Sincere. Thank you, Sincere.